What's going on, Periscope? To all my replay viewers, what's up? To all my live viewers, good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are. Hope everybody's doing well. Just wanted to encourage somebody on this morning. I'm not gonna look at the comments because I'm driving down the road. Let me put my seatbelt on so I can be extra safe. But I just wanted to encourage some hearts on today. Tell you to uh, get over discouragement. Not really get over discouragement, but be strong in the midst of being discouraged. Hope everybody's doing well on this great Saturday. And I say that to say that because everything this morning that I've tried to do has went haywire, has went awry. Even so much so that all I can do is smile. <laughs> all I can do is smile. Sometimes things go crazy and, you know, it's just out of your control. And you just, all you can do is smile. You can't even get mad. You can't even get too discouraged. So I want to encourage somebody, I don't know if you're dealing with that on this morning, to whether your day is not going the way that you wanted it to go, or your week, or your year so far. I want you to know that you can still be victorious. Your success will be contingent upon how you handle discouragement and how you handle shortcomings. I overslept this morning. Uh, not only did I oversleep this morning, I needed to go get some supplies at Home Depot to, to finish some projects I'm working on. And when I get out to Home Depot, I end up needing to get more than I thought I would need. And then I left some of the supplies at Home Depot because the lady forgot to bag them for me. So that's throwing me behind even more. So I said it to say, sometimes you go through things and you get discouraged. It's like, man, wow, what else can happen today? But you never know why things happen. You never know... Uh, What's the point? Also, I almost ran out of gas, too. Uh, actually, I did run out of gas right at the gas station. So I had to push myself into the gas station to get some gas because I forgot I needed gas. So it's been a crazy, crazy, crazy day. So for those of you who are just joining, my name is Roger Green. And you can share with your followers if you like. Give me some hearts. Let me know that you're there. Uh, let me know that you're in the place. Uh, I appreciate it. I see different color hearts, too. So that lets me know that multiple people are viewing. So I just wanted to encourage, this is gonna be a quick scope. Those of you just joining in, please share with your followers. If you have an Android device, you can swipe up and share with your followers. If you have an iOS device, you can swipe left to right and share with your followers, both on Periscope as well as on Twitter and on Facebook. So I just wanna encourage you this morning, very quick scope. Don't let discouragement hinder you from progress. Don't let discouragement hinder you from doing what you need to do today. Don't let you being discouraged uh, set you back. You know, today has been a very, very tumultuous morning. As I told them that were on earlier, those of you just joining in, thank you for joining in. And you can share with your followers. My name is Roger Green. And I'm talking about dealing with discouragement. And I told them a little earlier in the scope that today has been a crazy, crazy day. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. I woke up late, overslept. I needed to go to Home Depot and get some supplies. Went and got some supplies and I ended up needing more than what I thought I needed. Uh, then leaving Home Depot, I, the lady forgot to bag some of my stuff so I'm on my way back to Home Depot. In the interim, I forgot to get gas because I had so much on my mind. What's going on Dubai? Glad to have you. I'd love to come to Dubai. I hear it's so beautiful there. Uh, so on my way, uh, back from Home Depot, I forgot to get gas, ran out of gas. Luckily enough, I was right there by the gas station, so I was able to uh, push myself in and get some gas. Uh, so, yeah, while I was at Home Depot, the lady forgot to bag my stuff, so that's why I'm on my way out to now. So it's pushed me very, very behind. So instead of getting so overwhelmingly discouraged to where I, you know, I just was like, forget it, let me just try it another day. Listen, all I could do is smile. Like, literally, all I could do is smile and laugh and say, you know what, you know, it's going to be a good day regardless. It's going to be a blessed day regardless. What's going on, one lady love bug? Glad that you joined. Those of you just joining in, please, please share with your followers uh, on Facebook or Twitter or on Periscope. Hey, I'm glad that you all are here. Thank you all for joining in. We're talking about overcoming discouragement. 
I've had a crazy, crazy morning. I'm not going to go into the story again. Uh, who win the Larry O'Brien Trophy? Who uh, who win the Larry O'Brien Trophy? I don't know. I don't know who will win this, this year. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm just talking about overcoming discouragement. Sometimes we can go through things in life and it doesn't have to be something major. It doesn't necessarily have to be anything life-changing that we're going through. Sometimes it's just your day is just not going the way that you want it to go. And it seems like things that you thought you had control over are, are out of control or in disarray. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to have you. Thank you for joining. Uh, please share with your followers as well. Uh, so, you know, sometimes things go and it's not going as planned and you get discouraged and you're like, man, why in the world is this happening to me today? And I promise you, that it's been like that this whole week for me, even though I'm grateful for it. Trust me, I've had a very, very productive and great week. Uh, but honestly, uh, if I were to describe my week, it would probably be, it would, it would be as if somebody put me in a blender and just hit it, hit high speed. Yeah, that's how crazy things have been this week. Like I've just been thrown in a blender and just, just things just going just crazy, just haywire. So that's how it's been. But I've been able to adapt through it. And, and I'm telling you, those are the moments when you grow as a person the most, when you go through situations where things are out of your control and you have to adapt. Uh, the true the true sign of whether or not you're going to be a successful, highly successful individual and have sustainability is whether or not you can adapt through change. What's going on? Hello. Glad to have you. Uh, whether you can adapt through change, whether you can adapt through things that get thrown at you that you uh, have no control over, how you deal with discouragement. Uh, do you mope? Do you have a pity party? Do you waddle in self-loathing? Or do you uh, adapt through that change? Do you encourage yourself? The Bible said it this way that David said, sometimes you got to encourage yourself. You got to speak life to yourself. You got to say, all right, today's going to be all right. And I've learned too, sometimes you just got to have a reset. Thank you. Absolutely. Sometimes you just got to reset. When things are going crazy in the day, you just got to take five minutes and say, all right, let me take a deep breath. Let me reset. Uh, fake it till you make it right. <laughs> fake it till you make it. That's strange, but I'm... I'm from Russia. You're from Russia? All right. Well, God bless you, Russia. Thank God for the God of Russia. He's the God of the entire world. So, um, hey, what's going on? What's going on, bro? Glad to have you on the scope. So we're talking about overcoming discouragement, man. So today, I don't know what you're going through. You might have woke up discouraged. You might have woke up just in disarray. Things might be going crazy and haywire in your life. I want to tell you, you can make it. Don't be discouraged. Don't throw in the towel. Don't don't feel like, you know, forget this day. Listen, you can reset the day at any time. Uh, your attitude can control a lot of uh, what happens during the day. If your attitude is at the point uh, where you realize that, look, I can reset this day. I don't have to let this ruin my day. I don't have to be mad and angry. I can just reset. I can take a deep breath, start again, do what I got to do, and uh, overcome discouragement. Because I'm telling you, discouragement typically is an illusion. D typically, in times when I was the most discouraged, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. <laughs> in other words, it wasn't as bad as I was trying to make it out to be once I really, really got to him. Uh, hey, how you doing, Sweden? We got an international scope on today. We got Sweden. We got Dubai in the house. I feel like I always am negative, but I hate that. It irritates me with negativity. Absolutely. You can change that at any time. You don't have to be pessimistic. You can begin to be optimistic. What do you do? I love to network with you. Um, well, I, I am... Um, I am a life coach, I'm a speaker, I'm an author, uh, most notably, I'm, I'm a minister of the gospel, and uh, so I would love to network with you. Those of you that would like to network with me, please, by all means, you can go to my website, rogergreenjr.com, that's Roger, like Roger that, green, like the color, that's without an E, it's like the color, and junior, like my mama liked to call me, junior, J-R, rogergreenjr.com, wow, so I'm... Minister. You're a minister as well? Is that what you're saying? Try to say in Sweden. Oh, man. I don't know how to speak Swedish. <laughs> what is the car? What kind of car? Oh, it's nothing major, man. It's just it's a, a Lexus truck. Yeah. So glad to, glad to have you all on. I just wanted to do a very, very quick scope. I'll come back and scope a little bit more uh, today. I have a few things I want to talk about about later today but I just want to encourage somebody 
uh, what's black and rhymes with Snoop Dogg. I have no idea. And I don't want to block you, so don't say nothing crazy. <laughs> All right. So I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, don't be discouraged today. You want to go to Carolina? Yeah, come to Carolina. Be sure to follow me back. I absolutely will. I'll follow you now. I'll follow you now. Got you. I see that you're an author as well. So awesome. I, I do follow uh, powerful people. I like fo following uh, strong people who are great and have something to, to offer. Dr. Dre, that was a great punchline. <laughs> All right, you, you're amusing yourself today. <laughs> I was ready. You was ready to block a person? Hey, I, my block game is strong. I don't mind having a block party. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, uh, yeah, don't be discouraged. Just smile through it, man. Smile through whatever you're going through. Uh, smile through how you feel. Smile through, you know, whatever difficulty you're going through. And, and, and watch God do some awesome and amazing things in your life. I promise you got to take the lemons and make lemonade. I'm not trying to sound cliche, but I'm really, really honest in saying that, that when, when you have a mentality to say, look, I'm not going to let nothing discourage me. I'm not going to let anything uh, keep me down. I promise you, your life will begin to change incrementally. Uh, 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 you say block. <laughs> your life will begin to change uh, you know, incrementally over time so stay positive there's some things if you go to my website rogergreenjr.com you can see i have a free guide a free report on how to have a positive day uh it's a uh big trip uh from washington to carolina it's not that bad are you talking about washington state or washington dc thank you for being you oh thank you I, I try to be me i i i've learned that i'm not good at being anybody else but myself uh have a blessed day stay positive thank you you have a blessed day as well and you stay positive. Uh, so you all y'all be good, man. Y'all y'all be positive. Go out and change the world. You have the power in you to change the world, change your circumstances, change your environment, change the people that are around you. So be positive. Do that. Do great things. Uh, you don't have to be well known to do great things. That's the thing that I love about it. You don't have to be well known to do great things. Even with Periscope, a lot of people think, you know, I gotta have, you know, ten thousand followers. I gotta have, yeah, two million hearts. Listen, you don't necessarily have to do that. Just make an impact to those that are in your audience, those that follow you, those that listen to you within your sphere of influence. And I promise, promise you, if you add value to your sphere of influence, it will grow. I promise you. I am a living testimony that you don't have to beg people to follow you you don't have to beg people to um, to enjoy you you give them something enjoyable you should give them something of value it will grow all right so god bless you all i'll talk to you soon let me get back in here uh and keep me in prayers absolutely i'll definitely keep you in prayers want to go to nfl and start my own business someday hey you can do that you 15 years old man the sky's the limit if i could go back until when i was 15 and 18 and 21 i probably would i would go even harder because i had realized man that the sky is is the limit so you can do it 15 year old man keep doing what you do keep god first study your craft be proficient at whatever you do and go hard I would love to go back. Right. I would love to go back. Trust me. If I can take uh, the wisdom that I have at 37 and go back at 18, oh, man, I'd be a game changer. But I can't go back, so i got to maximize the moment right now. So we have to maximize our time now. So go hard. Y'all do your thing and be blessed. Right. I would do it like a boss. Right. Right. I'd do it like a CEO. <laughs> so y'all take it easy.